Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn one more concept in frame of motion, which is gesture. So it basically allows you to have different animation on different kind of gestures which you perform in a website, right? So let me open the documentation and you will see that we have different types of gesture animation, like you can have animation on hover, on tap, on drag, on focus, and on in view, right? So we will uh, see them one by one in this video. I'll mostly cover up hover and tap animation. Like we will create maybe a simple button and have those animations, uh, different types of animation. Like when the button is hover, what I want to do, I'll have some different kind of animations and in similar as well in tap also, I do the same thing, right? Uh, we will cover drag focus and in view in more detail in the upcoming video. So yeah, let's focus on these two for now in this video. So yeah. We have these uh, many gesture animation in frame of motion. Uh, let me open up this uh, in the second tab. Uh, right. So wait. Yeah. So we have uh, all these animation helpers like you can use a uh, while hover function. You have while focus, while drag, while in view. And inside that you can basically provide uh, the animation which you want, like what you want to do when that particular uh, button has that particular gesture, right? So this is a simple example. You can see we have a button and when that button is hover, they are basically scaling it to 1.2 times. And when that button is tap, they are scaling it down to 0 0.9 times, right? So yeah, uh, they have one example with variance as well, but we haven't covered variance uh, till now, but we will do that surely in the next next video. Because in the next video, I'll be covering up uh, the other gesture uh, animation, which is while drag, uh, while focus. And after that, I will cover up the variance one. In this video, we are going to majorly focus on while hover and while tap. So let's do an uh, example in the VS code. I'll open my VS code and I already have this project which I created in the first video of this playlist. You can also check it out. If you haven't created a project uh, in React, you can create it. and or maybe you can do one thing, you can clone this repository and you know, see these examples and maybe modify it according to your requirement. I will mention the link of this repository in the description of this video, right? So let me first start this server, you can write npm run dev. And it's uh, on localhost 5173. Let me open it up. So in the previous video, I created this beautiful animation where we have this inner circle having a lot of animation, and we utilized keyframes in it. If you haven't watched it, do watch it. So let's create a small button beneath this and in that we will uh, add some gesture animation, right? So what we can do is we can go to SRC and inside app.jsx, uh, we can have one more component. Its name can be gesture button. So this element is not yet created. So we will create that first inside a component directory. You can create it anywhere, but I'll be creating all my components inside this directory. So let's create one more file here and its name will be gesture button dot jsx right and i'll just type rfc and it automatically gives me this template uh let me also import this now because i have created this file now i can press uh, command space and sorry control space and it'll give me this auto populate it will aut uh, right, automatically import this great so yeah it is coming now what i'll do is uh, I'll write, uh, I want it to be in the center first of all and have some margin, right? Great. And here I don't want text instead of it. I want one button and it will say maybe submit, right? Uh, let me add some CSS classes to it. We can write background white, uh, padding to rounded full and we can have width maybe 44 yeah uh, let's have text as gray okay great we can also maybe make it a little bold so that we are able to see text clearly great now let's add some gesture animation to it currently it does not do anything right so basically first animation which we will add it like when this button is hover we want it to maybe scale right so first of all let's import framer here you can write import motion 
uh, from frame a motion and now you can add this uh, motion before this button you can write motion dot button uh, you can also close it as well uh, right let me save it and now let's use uh, hover animation over here you can write while hover basically when this button is hover what i want to do is i want to scale it uh let's say i want to scale it maybe 1.1 times let me save it and let's see as you can see when i am hovering over this button it's scaling up 1.1 times uh, right uh, let's add one more gesture animation over here like when this button is tap what i want to do is so currently you see when i tap on this uh, nothing happens right but basically when this button is tap i want to scale it a 0.7 times right let's see so when i tap on it you see this button is getting shrinked 0.7 times so that's what uh, this uh, is doing you can add other properties as well like when this button is hover maybe you want to change the background color right so you can write background color and you can give some uh, random color to it right so as you can see when i'm hovering over it its uh, background color is getting changed uh, we can also write uh, text color as well you can write color to maybe change to uh, white so you can write fff let's see so as you can see background and text color is both is getting changed and when you when you are basically moving your mouse out it's getting reset okay so you can uh, apply other animation as well let's say i want to change uh, border radius to maybe 0% Let's see. So as you can see, now it's becoming a full rectangle as comparison to when it had uh, rounded borders. So in this way, you can have a lot of animation inside this. And basically, all these animations are happening when this gesture uh, when this gesture is getting performed on this button, right? Similarly, you can have all these animation inside here as well. So yeah, that was just for this video, and I hope. Uh, you learned how you can use a gesture uh, spe uh, specifically we covered uh, hover and tap gesture for this video in the next video we will cover uh, drag and while in view all these uh, properties in more detail so yeah see you in the next video and we'll be creating maybe something else because in this video i just created a simple button but in the next video we'll be creating something different uh, i'll think about it and that will be a great stuff that you can build with frame emotion i believe yeah so see you in the next video thank you for watching this video thanks